Welcome to Blockenstrom right hand. If you watched the Blockenstrom video titled Blockenstrom, you saw how to do some chords. So this video is all about the right hand. So we'll start with the right hand. I use either my fingernail and sometimes thumbnail if I'm strumming backwards, fingernail if I'm strumming forwards. I like to use a thin guitar pick sometimes. Sometimes for a little louder sound, I use a wood pick. Anybody could make one of these. This is a good shape, kind of like a long guitar pick. It's easy to hang on to. And for a sound somewhere between the pick and the, and the uh, wood pick, I like to use a feather tip a turkey white or black feather these are cheap so the left hand does two things when you're playing block and strum which is an old old technique the left hand does two things it'll play a chord like this, I'm blocking this string, this string, and this string. So the left hand does two things. It, it blocks these strings, or if you want to get into playing melody as you strum, which is a little more advanced way of playing, then the second uh, function of the left hand is to pluck strings like this. Okay, that's the left hand. The five functions of the right hand are simply to strum straight across all strings or pick individual strings individual strings or and this is important groups of three strings this is a seven string lyre I think of the strings as in groups of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And when I play those groups of three strings, I don't strum straight across. That is dangerous, and you will be years and years trying to be accurate. The best way to be accurate when you're strumming groups of three strings is to use your pick or your finger and if you're strumming the first group of three strings you don't strum straight across that's the secret you, you start low and you come out high you start low and you come out high so you get a full strum so you don't have to sit there and try to hit three and not hit four which is about impossible it takes it takes away from all the activity if you have to play like that. But as you're playing like this, fast and furious, you don't want to have to stop and, and do this. So you go like this, and when you are hitting this string, this string, or this string, or both, and blocking this one, you don't strum straight across. You start low, and you come up high. Look at this diagram. Okay, the same goes for the, the middle three strings. Right there, I'm playing three strings. Okay, look at this diagram. Okay, and then the same goes, now this is the fifth way. This is the fifth function of the right hand. When we play these top high strings, we don't strum straight across, we start high, and we come down almost to the top of the lyre. Okay, look at this diagram.
All right, so now uh, it's kind of complicated uh, to try to pick all these things out, but watch as I play this song. That's the right hand for block and strum. We'll see ya.